Hello and welcome to Universe Mode. This is Monday Night Raw. We are just six days away from Survivor Series and the feel and the tone around here is that the big fight feel has arrived. The threat was sent by the Dangerous Alliance last week. Now we see if they are man enough to step up to the plate and be here tonight on Raw in San Francisco. Or oh, whether or not they are just too chicken shit. Well, let's all wait and see but tonight will be another great night of action for the Monday Night Raw brand and as you see there the main event you know it's gonna be good Dolph Ziggler is in action the world heavyweight champion what more can you ask for when he gets ready to go one-on-one -on -one against an old rival of his in Daniel Bryan it is going to be one hell of a main event these two men have been through it all the ups and the downs and now just six days before Survivor Series, Ziggler is ready to go face to face with a man who he has so much bad blood with just to prove he is the better athlete. That is one that I can't wait for. That is a main event that I am already excited for, but we're getting things underway with a pretty big match as well. The Villa Marty Skrull will take on the Viper, Randy Orton. Well, here we go. This will be a great start too. Monday Night Raw's action, but I think a key thing that we're going to have to pay attention to throughout the entire night is will they show up? Will they strike? Will they be here? That is the big question we're looking at right now when it comes to the Dangerous Alliance. Bobby Fish said it. Now let's see if they'll do it. Six days to go until Survivor Series, and all I'm saying is they need to leave one hell of an impact if they want the Bullet Club to feel any sort of fear whatsoever within them in regards to the Dangerous Alliance because I can tell you right now heading into this Sunday there is not a step of worry in the mind of the Bullet Club that they will not walk out of Survivor Series the winner and not just a regular winner but a dominant one at that absolutely no fear whatsoever in the mind of the Bullet Club. So unless the Dangerous Alliance can do something deadly here tonight, I'm on. I'm high inclined to say that things are going to be just fine for the Bullet Club at Survivor Series, for the Good Brothers, and for the World Heavyweight Champion. But before we get to everything that's going to happen later on tonight, especially with Ziggler, and as well, with the Good Brothers being in action, we are going to see this man in the ring for the first time in a while, Randy Orton. It has been a while, it has been some time since this man was in the ring. And now he kicks off tonight on Monday Night Raw, just six days away from his bout with Kyle O'Reilly. Orton, of course, screwed Kyle O'Reilly out of the WWE title at no, uh, at no Way Out. The cell was broken open by O'Reilly and Fish in their huge culmination of a two-year rivalry. And Randy Orton laid waste to Kyle O'Reilly, flattened him with an RKO and allowed Bobby Fish to pick up the title he holds today. And with that being said, Kyle O'Reilly was almost on a warpath for revenge. And a revenge is what he can extract this Sunday at Survivor Series when he goes toe to toe with the Viper himself. Randy Orton, the Viper has been playing his mind games as only he knows how to. Twice getting the element of surprise on Kyle O'Reilly and twice laying him out with the RKO. Will it happen a third time at Survivor Series? Well, I guess we'll have to find out when that night rolls around. It is looking like a big Big night of action. One night of action that I certainly cannot wait for. But as for right now, we're going to get things underway with these two going at it. Skill was, of course, has been due a few matches recently and has kind of been screwed out of the way by, uh, by the Dangerous Alliance more so than anything. He was supposed to take on... Um, Dolph, well, he was taking on Dolph Ziggler a few weeks ago and was uh, given the... World Champion a run for his money until the arrival of Bobby Fish brought an end to that one. But now Skrull has a chance to uh, showcase himself once more as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton. 
Orton, of course, needing this win heading into this Sunday. He knows that what he did to O'Reilly is not going to leave that man in a good mood whatsoever. He is in the he is in the sole mindset for revenge, and he will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Randy Orton wants to spoil O'Reilly of another celebration, spoil O'Reilly of another victory, and walk out of Survivor Series, the true winner. This one isn't about brand supremacy. This one isn't proving about who is the better group. This is just two guys who hate each other and have done for a very, very long time. Orton has kept himself silent and has made sure to say nothing about why he's doing what he's doing. But one thing is for sure, this Sunday, there won't be a lot of silence, I don't think, within the ring. You will hear the sounds of the hardest kicks that Kyle O'Reilly can, can uh, structure. The hardest strikes that either man can come up with and the sound of one man falling to the mat and not getting back up. Will we hear a pinfall from an RKO? Or a chase in the dragon? Or a submission maybe at the hands of Kyle O'Reilly? We'll find out in six days time. But as for right now, Marty Skrull is looking towards the future. That is why this match is so important for Skrull. Victory here. It may not mean anything for Survivor Series, but it'll mean a hell of a lot going forward for him if he can get these wins. Skrull now, looking for something there, and Orton just wasn't interested in it, counted his way out. And now Randy Orton gets to work in his own ways. One little slip up, and he will strike. The ape with the uh, rope hung. Don't know why I said the ape one. The rope hung DDT, Vintage Orton. And we know what that can be a setup for. Just waiting for it any second now. Well, to be fair, we can wait as long as we want for it. We never know when he'll strike with it. That is the beauty of how Randy Orton works with that move. And that's what makes it ever so dangerous. Cover on skill, but only for a one count. Skill still showing. He's got a lot of fight left in him. But Orton's given him a lot of problems in this one. Marty Skrull needs to do something fast as Orton just watches on now as Skrull basically stumbles around on his feet. It was almost as if he gave him a lifeline there. Randy Orton wanted him to try and fight back in this one. And Skrull doesn't need a second. Invitation lawn darting Randy Orton into the middle rope. Marty Skrull now sees an opening and it belongs at the top rope. Skrull gonna fly here. Big elbow drop by Marty. Very nice elbow drop as well. And goes after the arm again. Setting him up for the crossface chicken wing. Trying to take the RKO away from him. What will Skill look for now? Nothing. Orton pulls out the counter once more. Sends him into the ropes. And oh, Skill almost sent him. Well, Skill sent him out over the ropes, but almost sent him outside of the ring. Skrull, caught, Orton, flips over, sunset flip now by Randy Orton, into the cover on Skrull, looking for the win, there's two, Skrull kicks out, close for Skrull, close escape that's for sure, big forearm in the back, RKO, the Viper strikes and Skrull is done for, with two and three, Randy Orton wins this one and that could be the same fate that Kyle O'Reilly feels this Sunday at Survivor Series. The RKO, when it's on, it's over. Randy Orton, your winner. And it is only just beginning for the Viper. Here comes Kyle O'Reilly. He's had enough. He's sick, he's sick now of being attacked by Orton with his back turned. He's sick of having... Randy Orton stand on top at the end of it all. It's O'Reilly's turn now to do the same. It's O'Reilly's turn for revenge on Orton. And right now, he can do nothing but endure the pain. Just a fraction of what he will have to sit through at Survivor Series this Sunday. Because win or lose, Kyle O'Reilly will do everything in his power to destroy Randy Orton. Cross arm breaker on Orton. Orton's tapping out. Orton taps out here. But will he tap out this Sunday at Survivor Series? O'Reilly and Orton, it's more than personal at this point. It is about one man not wanting the other to stand 
suffer any longer. What a standout. Just I, I did not expect to see O'Reilly here. A SmackDown superstar invading. And it may not be for the only time here tonight. O'Reilly, though, is determined to do one thing at Survivor Series, it seems. And that is to make Randy Orton tap out and embarrass him for all that he has done to Kyle O'Reilly. Well, that was a strong start, and this San Fran crowd is on their feet already. And we're going to move on now, but we're going to calm down the pace a little bit before we get into the Bullet Club. Coming up next, as he looks to continue on with his dominant momentum from last week, James Storm goes up against Zack Ryder. Well, we certainly saw last week that the Cowboy was in no mood to play games, no mood to make friends, and certainly in no mood for Xavier Woods pummeling into his leg with a steel chair again and again. Whether or not we uh, we know if Xavier Woods is injured or the extent of that injury right now, we have no idea. But one thing's for sure, James Storm took a lot of pride in what he did. And the Cowboy has donned a new attire now that he's on his own way. Of course, uh, left Drew McIntyre in the dust a few weeks ago. And James Storm has gone about it in his own fashion. And now tonight, another victory looks on the horizon <clears throat> for the Cowboy over Zack Ryder. One thing's for sure, so far so good. Seems as if there's very little to say against James Storm as to why he did what he did. We don't know, of course, why he betrayed Drew McIntyre. But one thing's for sure, it seems to have panned out well for him. And we'll see if it will continue on here tonight as he gets ready to fight this man here Long Island I see Zack Ryder my favorite man in the whole wide world coming towards the ring how he's still getting shots I don't know but one thing's for sure he just endured a hell of a shot from James Storm and not the shot that he may have had in mind James Storm has gone out on the offensive right from the get-go to Zack Ryder in just as little of a mood to sit to Ryder's entrance as I was and for that I commend you James Storm I can't argue with a great decision like you just made Ryder though trying to fight back against James Storm last time we saw Zack Ryder he was defeating Christian with Christian raising his hand at the end of it not a clue why and yeah, I don't care why either, to be fair. All I care about right now is James Storm taking care of Zack Ryder in the same fashion he took care of Xavier Woods last week. Maybe with the steel chair included. It might be a little bit more entertaining to witness. Storm on the, the money right from the get-go here. Not a fun start for one second for Zack Ryder. Feynman's carry elbow drop there. But look at how this start has gone for James Storm. He is all over Zack Ryder right now. Pummeling into... Pum uh, pummeling into Zack Ryder. I had a bit of a brain freeze there for some reason. And this I can watch time and time again. Going to work on the leg now. Almost a precursor. Maybe a warning. What the hell was Christian's music doing? What? Why it... What the, what is, what's this for? James Storm is waiting for him. And Zack Ryder, Rough Rider, what? Ryder with a Rough Rider from nowhere. Cover on Storm. Zack Ryder just stole one. Ryder stole one because of Christian. What the hell is all that about? I, what? Why? Zack Ryder knows about as much as we do. But why the hell did Christian just help Ryder? Why are two losers working together? If they even meant to work together, what was that all about? Zack Ryder wins. James Storm was pummeling into him right up until that moment. And Ryder steals a lucky win. And that is all that can be said about it. A lucky, lucky win. Because James Storm was ready to destroy and dismantle another soul. 
Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm honestly disgusted in that right, but I guess things will get better. Don't worry, things things are bound to get better. We're out of the we're out of the awful zone already. Because coming up next, we're gonna we're gonna see the Good Brothers in action. That's right, six days before Survivor Series, the World Tag Team Champions are gonna be competing. Maybe maybe not. Um, I I I I don't know what's going on here. For some, I I didn't expect to see him here, but. Adam Cole's here, and he's coming out with a microphone in hand, so let's take it to Adam Cole. Here he comes. Like I said, I have no idea what Adam Cole's doing here, why he's here, but I'm not going to complain. We saw Cole last week. He, he, he wanted to compete at Survivor Series, but Dolph Ziggler decided against it. Thought it would be better if he waited it out and gave it a, um, you know, gave it until after Survivor Series, but... It seems that Adam Cole has a bit to say. It seems if Adam Cole isn't too pleased about uh, maybe about last week or something in that regard. And here's Cole to clear that up. It's simple, really. What happened last week, as disgusting as it was, there was nothing Adam Cole could do to stop it. The element of surprise caught them all off guard, caught everyone in the Bullet Club completely out of left field. But tonight, Adam Cole's not going to let that happen. No, and there's one simple reason for that. Adam Cole knows that by putting his good brothers in this match, he puts them at jeopardy of being attacked, at jeopardy of being seen and being insulted by the Dangerous Alliance. So Adam Cole is not going to let the good brothers fight this one, but he has a great plan in mind already. And that's the plan that Adam Cole has for us. If Fish, Reigns, and Henry want to say they're going to show up, then let them. But under no circumstance whatsoever will Adam Cole let them try and take over this show. Anderson, Henry, uh, Anderson, Gallows, and Ziggler will be waiting. Adam Cole will lead the way, and the Bullet Club will lay waste to the Dangerous Alliance, not just here tonight on Raw, but at Survivor Series as well. Well, you know what? I can't blame the genius of Adam Cole there for deciding that that was the best decision he could make because, well, it quite simply, downright to a T, it, it's genius. You let the Good Brothers fight this match, and we all run the risk of them being attacked, being blindsided yet again by the cowards that are, dangerous, that are the Dangerous Alliance, whereas if they wait backstage, if they wait for them to show up, it is going to work. It is going to be foolproof. Sure, Cole may not be able to compete, but I'm sure Bobby Fish is too arrogant and too self-loving to just go backstage and attack someone. If Ziggler's going to be in the ring later tonight, then Bobby Fish will come out here and go face-to-face -face with him again. There is no doubt about that. And what will happen to Bobby Fish is he will make the same mistake that he made a few weeks ago when he got in this ring. He thinks he can take out the World Heavyweight Champion like that. No. No, he's wrong. He absolutely can't take him out. There's no way he's going to be able to lay him out. And that is the big mistake that Bobby Fish will make. And here comes, anyway, moving on. Speaking of Bullet Club, we'll move on to the Raw Women's Champion. The representative of the Bullet Club, the leader, the woman who has monopolized her division. The woman who runs the women's division as a whole. It is Paige, who this Sunday, of course, gets ready to defend her Raw Women's Championship against Charlotte, which should be an interesting one, I do believe. But one thing is for certain is that Paige heads in a little bit shaky, I think is the best way of putting it. These last few weeks, her and Charlotte have been kind of back and forth. Charlotte has two victories over her, but Paige laid out Charlotte in the ring last week following her victory over uh, Natalia. Now, Charlotte isn't here tonight. She's training ahead of Survivor Series, but that does not mean that Paige doesn't want some in-ring action, and she'll get just that. Alexa Bliss wanted a bit of respect here by Paige. And oh, Bliss trying to think she's cocky. 
Bliss thinking she's full of herself there by trying to fool around with the Raw Women's Champion, but oh, you have made one hell of a mistake there, Miss Bliss. Maybe, oh, well, we'll, make, we'll wait and see. There's a quick counter by uh, Alexa Bliss. These two women, of course, fought at SummerSlam inside a steel cage for that Raw Women's Championship. It was Paige who walked out still with that title. Surprise, surprise. And the story of SummerSlam, as I just said there, it'll be the same at Survivor Series. Another hot shot who thinks they can stand a chance at dethroning greatness. And they will quickly learn where they stand on the totem pole. And where they are on the totem pole is they are the ones holding it up from the bottom for the Raw Women's Champion to stand high on. Simply put, Paige is above and beyond any other women's wrestler in this brand or in the, or in the world as a whole. Bliss has found that out. Carmella's found that out. Gail Kim, Becky Lynch, Oscar. The list goes on and on and on. And at Survivor Series, we'll make sure to add Charlotte to it. Alexa Bliss with a big cross body there, knocking down Paige though. And of course, if somehow victory was to occur here tonight for Alexa Bliss, then maybe it could be a triple threat. Both women's titles, of course, are going to be defended this Sunday. So anything, I guess, for a little bit of interest to be added to one over the other. There's a big uh, sunset flip power bomb by Alexa Bliss. Great counter though by Paige. Flips back over. Bliss does the same though with herself. Cover on Paige and it's a kick at it too. This seemed kind of proud of herself there before she pulled off. It was pretty good, but not too sure what she was thinking there. She paid the ultimate price for taking far too long. Charlotte better be paying close attention to this because this is how a champion fights. This is how a champion competes. At the pinnacle of their game with no one coming close to touching them. Page with the Page Turner. The end is on its way. Victory is on the horizon once more for Paige. But Bliss is almost being too stubborn in this moment and refusing to admit it. Oh, oh I, I, I know what Paige has in mind. Of course, she broke it out a few weeks ago as she's looking for it again here. Sends Bliss into the corner. Oh no, she's just digging the foot into her this time. What's Bliss going to do here? Oh, she pushes the foot away. Fair play to Alexa Bliss there. Good counter. And gives herself a little opening to work with now. Insult to injury. The double knees. And oh, a moon... Uh, more. More knees into the gut. Bliss now up to the top rope. This can't be happening. This is not going to happen. No way. Twisted Bliss. Bliss into the cover. Looking for the win. There's two. There isn't three. Paige powered her way out. And Bliss can hardly believe it. Come on, Paige. You're better than this. You know you are. You're not gonna let some. You're not gonna let someone like Alexa Bliss get a win over you, are you? No way. You're the Raw Women's Champion. You are the women's representative of the Bullet Club. You're the best women's wrestler in the world today. And here she is proving it. Caught in midair. Power bomb to Bliss. And oh, here we go. If Charlotte wants to execute a submission of her own, then so will Paige. Welcome to the PTO for Alexa Bliss. Locked in. Nowhere for Bliss to go. And she taps out. Paige is your winner, and like the RKO earlier tonight, just like that, this one can end, and it has ended for Alexa Bliss. Victory for Paige as she prepares for this Sunday. I hope you had a close eye on that one, Charlotte, and I hope you had a close eye on the Raw Women's Championship as well. Because the times you'll spend in the ring with Paige and the time it will be held with the referee two feet away from you is the closest you will come to holding that belt in your own hands. Paige this Sunday will prove that to be true and will prove why she is the Raw Women's Champion and why she is the best damn woman on the planet today when it comes to being in that ring. Good luck. You're going to need it. But then again, 
not even luck can get you as far as a title. Page your winner once again, and now we get ready for the big match. Six days before Survivor Series, Dolph Ziggler is ready to compete. And I'm hearing word that apparently things are going on backstage right now regarding Ziggler. He's having a bit of... Apparently, something's happened. Ziggler's bag has been stolen. He's, he's got no world title. His, his uh, attire's been taken. He's Apparently, he's got a backup attire, but Dolph Ziggler right now is irate. And he's going to be making his way out to the ring right now to do battle with Daniel Bryan. Bryan, I hope you know what you've gotten yourself into. You wanted this match, and are you going to pay for it? You think playing a little joke like taking Dolph Ziggler's bag away from him is going to matter? No, 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 no. He'll make you pay. Ziggler and Bryan up next. I don't know why all this has happened. And I don't really find it a funny joke either. And I highly doubt Dolph Ziggler does either. The world champion without his belt. What a awful sight. What a what a what a crime that is to take the belt away from such greatness. Who do you think you are, Daniel Bryan? And Ziggler's frustration is carried on, ripping off his jacket. Oh my god, what? It's fish! He's got his belt! Where did Fish come from? How did Fish get that belt? No, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. Our plan was foolproof. It was a setup. We've been set up all along. The Dangerous Alliance have been here. They got Fish. Fish has, Fish has got Ziggler right now. Now the world champion being pummeled. First by his own belt and now by the man he will face this Sunday. Fish was waiting. He was lying in wait for Ziggler. But Ziggler will take the fight to him. But wait, 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 what? I'm getting reports to that this, this isn't the only thing going on. They found their way backstage. They got the jump on the Good Brothers. We're backstage now and Reigns has Carl Anderson all to himself. Henry has Luke Gallows elsewhere in the arena. And right now, Roman Reigns is battering into, into Carl Anderson with a steel chair. Throwing around one half of the World Tag Team Champions. We have been set up, we've been foiled. Whatever the plan was, the Bullet Club is being dismantled piece by piece. The true element of surprise has paid off here for the Dangerous Alliance. I, I don't even know what to say. I can't, I can't muster up the words. We've been attacked from behind yet again by cowards who are too scared to show their face to us. And as they beat down our champions, as they dismantle them, we just have to watch. There's nothing we can do. This, this is beyond sickening. Not going through a match tonight just to make sure that this wouldn't happen. And this is exactly what has happened. Carl Anderson laying out right now on the locker room floor. Luke Gallows being thrown around in the parking lot. Bobby Fish having his way with Dolph Ziggler back in front of all the crowd. This, this is awful. And we're back out here now for a moment. Raw has been decimated by the Dangerous Alliance and Fish isn't done. Not by a long shot through the barricade. The Bullet Club is being torn apart by its very seams and we can only sit and watch. In the midst of all this I have to ask, where's Adam Cole? Where's our leader? At a time like this we need Adam Cole more than ever because the Bullet Club is crumbling. And at the very seams, power bomb into a car. Luke Gallows is out. Luke Gallows is done for. The big man of the Bullet Club's down. And Carl Anderson doesn't look to be in such a good shape either. Anderson's going to feel the same pain as his brother. A power bomb into the locker room. The Bullet Club is down. And all that's left is Ziggler. In the back, the entire, the, the Good Brothers have been laying out. And the same's happening in the ring. Ziggler has been decimated by Fish. And now, all the champ has left to do is to lay out the man who will lead them into this Sunday. An act of cowardice. An act that I would come to expect from these men. But an act that will not stand. 
The Bullet Club in one night has been destroyed at its very seams. The Dangerous Alliance have laying out my beloved Bullet Club for their own self gain. While at Survivor Series, I won't let this happen. We won't let this happen. The Bullet Club will stand tall. Fish, Reigns, Henry, you know your time is numbered.